I was thinking a lot. I was mainly thinking about how I only got one more year next year. Um, definitely could have played better, could have done better as a team. And I felt bad that I let down uh, the seniors on our team. On the bus, it was a lot of emotion, a lot of tears. Um, I, was, I felt bad for our seniors. I thought I let them down. Uh, it was a lot of regret. It was a lot of a whole lot of like what if moments, like shoulda, coulda, woulda. But I realized you can't take those moments back. You gotta move on. Uh, second round, like I felt terrible for uh, our seniors because it was their last game ever playing with us, and I feel like we grew like real close together as like a family and like brothers and like not being able to play on the same team with each other again felt like terrible. And also like, we, I feel like I could have done more for the team. Uh, Cause like I was missing shots left and right. And I feel like I should have hit those and uh, it felt terrible. It's just like, I felt like, I feel like, uh, what's it called? I feel like I let my teammates down, like Reed and Shaq when they were gone. Oh, I just felt like I let them down. I just feel like, I was like, damn, sorry we couldn't do it for you because it was their last season. I mean, it happens this year. It won't happen this year, but I just feel like I'd let them down too. Like after the playoff loss? Uh, so like, it seemed like the the season just hit. Like the season had taken, like it, we realized it went by so quick, took it for granted pretty much. And realized that was our last moments with Reed and Shaq. And then it was silent for a little bit, and then we realized, you know, we gotta take advantage of the time we have left with them. So then it was silent for a little bit, and then after that, we all just started hanging out and had a blast. But then it was a little sad, you know, end of the season, obviously, but you no. Know. We started last year um, as a team, a whole bunch of seniors, so kind of our last chance to make a state run. Yeah, I think because it's our last chance, everybody's more like bought in, like everybody's more together and chemistry is up from last year. What makes it different is uh, I feel like there's a lot of people that look up to me now since I'm like one of the oldest on the team and uh, it's like my it's like my second year on varsity. And so uh, I feel like we have a lot of goals that we can uh, we can achieve this year. and. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have a bigger role and I'm excited and like I'm excited to like bring energy and try and go in state and yeah. Uh, this year I think we all have a chip on our shoulder because we know like what we went through last year and how our tough loss. Um, I think we're all just hungry. Or we all just wanted a little bit more and you know I think we're gonna get after it. Explain to me what happened in this play.
And then down, down one, it's like 15 seconds left. Um, so, actually, here's my only points of the game. I didn't score at all. So, Addy got trapped in the corner, chasing the ball, I hit Addy. Addy was trapped in the corner, pivoted, hit me. I was like, shoot, see the dude close out, gotta pull it. Got the shot. Then, the guy throws, I see Caden, number five Memorial. He goes deep. I wall up, go like this, and like he travels, and then um, we get the ball back. Chase knocks out free throws, and we win the games. Awesome, man. Um, feel like you know last year with Reed and Shaq being like pretty much leaders and stuff because I, I I was like sixth man kind of coming off the bench, but now I'm a I'm a starter hopefully, and um, that role's increased more confidence. And I feel like it's my last year. Got to give it all I got and uh, leave nothing on the table. Just shooting pretty much, getting rebounds, playing defense, shooting. You know. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be a point guard. It's BJ and uh, Chase and Parker, all of them handling the ball, but I'm just ready to shoot, rebound, get boards, play hard pretty much. What keeps you motivated day in and day out? Um, knowing it's my last year, you know, playing with all my best friends, you know, just enjoying the game of basketball that I love so much. Everyone trusts me here to shoot the ball. I feel like we all trust each other and know what each other can do and our strengths and weaknesses. So I feel like that helps a lot. Oh yeah, I mean, in your boys, you know, hang out a lot. Um, you know, play pretty much the same way, just spot up. You know, it's just it's just a lot of fun playing with him and uh, the rest of my teammates. I want to win state. That's the goal. You know, get as far as we can. Know that I gave it all I got and I had nothing else to leave on the table. We got dogs, man. We got dogs, bro. Everybody on the team can hoop, dude. Everybody. Everyone on the bench, everyone on the floor. Don't matter. Every part of the program. Uh, coaches, they're dogs, too. We got our operations team. They're dogs. Everyone's a dog. Coach, what time should we switch? DJ. Thank you.
got to stop playing in a hurry and we got to start playing fast. Y'all are getting so jittery because you see a guy running out and you're like, oh, I got to just do it right now. Do it right now. Everything's in a hurry. Hey, not everything. We've had five practices right now. Hey, today, everything was in a hurry rather than playing fast. We want to play fast, not in a hurry. Give me one person that you feel like has had a good five practices so far to this point. Five, one. Just one person. Pick one person. It could be anybody. Pick one person you feel like has had a good first five days. Now that we're five days in. Uh, I think Caden. Uh, All right, Caden. All right, good job, Caden. Got it up, got it up. Come on, Caden. Hey, I want one more. Come on, pick somebody. Um, I think Mason's had a good couple of days. All right, Mason, here we go. All right, Caden and Mason, break us out. Go. We only have three. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Hurry up, hurry up. Pick out pennies. Put them over there. Basketball is everything to me. Um, it's more than just a sport for me, for sure. Uh, play basketball whenever I get down on myself or whenever I can and play for so long that it just means a lot to me. Last season, we made a good run into playoffs. Uh, second round, we lost to WT White. Definitely a good first year as a program, but Definitely could have done better. No, I had no doubts at all. Um, I knew that my teammates, BJ and Addy, were coming with me from Prosper, and also Coach Garner. And um, I was excited, actually, for the season.
Um, I think what sets me apart is definitely my work ethic and how hard I work. Um, definitely consistent and persevere through um, everything that's thrown at me. Um, I feel like the team work ethic um, is very good. Definitely can improve, but um, it's definitely there. Showing up early, putting that work in, and getting ready for the season. I'm going to lead my team in every way I can. Um, bring the work ethic, bring the motivation, the effort into practice every single day. Get on everybody that makes a mistake and just really uplift my teammates to be the best I can. Charge right there, aren't you? In a game, you're gonna take a charge. All right, here we go. Come on, 
on, come on, come on, come on. Up six. Down six. Across your legs. Five, four, two, one. And here we go, just drop the weight, drop the weight where it's at. We'll come back and pick it up. Here we go, everybody up, cop it up, cop it up, cop it up. Three, one, two, three. Hey, when we got these five day weeks like this, we got to take advantage. I've said that over and over again. Uh, we're going to build up as the week goes on. Okay, so this week, Thursday, uh, is going to be our scrimmage day, like we had a couple weeks ago. Um, learned, did a little bit of learning with some live stuff to today uh, with our lift. Uh, tomorrow's going to be very similar. Got it? Yes. All right, we got small things that we got to take care of, all right, but we got to find the details and take care of them and, and be more disciplined in doing so. Don't regress as we start actually learning plays. Because if that happens, then we'll be back in the same spot. We can't do that. Okay? For what the goals are that we have this year, that just can't happen. Okay? Uh, decent job today. Uh, we need to be better the rest of the week, though. Chase, now you can break it out. Go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Those guys Get the plates. Get today. the plates. best feeling ever. We like, the whole crowd was hype. We were hype. Like the adrenaline was going crazy. And uh, we definitely gonna bring that, like we definitely gonna like go farther this year than we did last year. One thing I could work on is probably, uh, I guess like better ball handling. Trying to get like my, around my defenders more and uh, probably like more like off the dribble shots. I think what motivates me is my teammates, seeing how hard they work, makes me want to work just as hard as they, they do. And like we all push each other, push each other to like be better. And uh, also like watching like my friends from other schools who are, uh, they're doing good in their sports and they're like five stars and it makes me just want to uh, do better like them. Oh yeah, I had some, I had some doubts. I was thinking that uh, we just left a good program. Prosper's a good program. They had, they had good coaches and we had good teammates over there. And I didn't really know how it was going to turn out when we came to Wanna Grove. But it turned out pretty good. We had a good team. Hard work, hard work is uh, necessary for success. And uh, lean on your teammates for help. Don't try and do everything on your, by yourself because uh, you got a coach you can look up to as well. If you need questions, ask. And yeah. What would you say like, sets the team apart from others? What sets our team apart from others? Uh, I feel like we, uh, we get up every morning uh, 7, 7.15 every, every morning. We put the work in. We go, we can condition every morning. We get the, we can go to the weight room. And we always put the work in. And so we outwork a lot of teams. My NBA comparison 
it's probably hard. It's pretty hard to narrow it down to one person, but I feel like my handles are like Rob Dillingham. My shooting's like Chef Curry, and then like I'm more like a KD type of player off of like my range, mid range and stuff. And my athleticism is kind of like LeBron James, like in his prime, you know. But uh, combine it all together, I'm really just myself. Like I should really be in the NBA if you wanted me to. Don't start it, Mendoza. Give me five minutes, okay. both seconds, and five milliseconds. That, that, that was a fight. Pep in your step. Oh, oh I'm pulling. I'm, I'm trying to pull. Why are, stop pulling. No, that's good. Alright, see how you <laughs> All right, move it that way, go. Don't run into the goal, go in front of the goal. started making new friends even in the summer like everybody was welcoming and I was just ready to go and go out and play with them. Hey seniors seniors Thank you.